Hi everyone, welcome back to another Simple Planes video. In this video, I'll be building an ultra detailed nose gear with hundreds of parts. So, let's get started. Now, before we can get started, I'd like to say that I've recently upgraded from an RTX 3060 to an RTX 4070 Ti. This will allow me to basically have limitless parts, as long as the number of static bodies stays low. Now, let's start building the snows gear. And to start off with the snows gear, I'm going to take all of the important parts, like the suspension and the wheels themselves, and I'm just going to nudge them off to the side for now. The position of the wheels and the characteristics of the wheels themselves, as well as the suspension, is important because I'm only basically changing the detail level, I'm not actually changing the shape of the nose gear. Although I am going to add some additional mechanical parts for the retraction system. I won't need the landing lights for some time, so I can just delete them, since I have them from another file. I'm also going to get out the steering rotator, and since I'm going to code my own new retraction code. I don't need this retraction rotator either. So I can basically delete the entire landing gear. I'll keep this fuselage so I have something to start with. For the gear doors, I'm also going to change them of course. But I'm just going to nudge them out of the way. I think I'm also going to change the shape of the gear doors and maybe even the gear bay. Just so it's a little more realistic and is the right size for what I need. For example, these gear doors back here, the ones that say open when the gear is down, those don't need to be as large as they were because there's nothing much that actually needs to fit through the gap here. So now I'll build the new gear bay and the new gear doors. A few minutes later. And that has been done. It may look the same as the original, but I've actually re remade the entire gear bay from scratch. Unlike the original, it's actually perfectly straight. So if I had this rectangle here, that is 2.1 wide and 2.1 wide at either end, it will perfectly fit into the gear bay. To help me figure out the fuselage percentages, like if I go into the fill for, say, this piece you know, here, the side fills are actually very precise numbers. I wrote a Python program that allows me to input information about the fuselage, for example, let's say for this piece here and this small piece, let's make them the same x coordinate, let's say 5. So let's say the width of this large piece is, I don't know, 7.65, just a random number. 0.65. If I want the side fill, so the left fill, to be, or the right fill doesn't matter, to be exactly so it's touching the small fuselage, I could take those numbers, just the width here, and the small fuselage width, which is 2 bit 1, and I can calculate that, and I'll output here that I need this number as my percentage. So I copy this number, I go into the fill values of this large piece, I know this is the left fill, I put those in, I just change it to a decimal form, and then it perfectly matches a small piece. So I use that function as well as some other functions I wrote to help me calculate the numbers to make this gear bay perfect. I also made the gear bay the right length. Previously it was too long for the gear, so if I, I can get this out of the way, so if I get the gear by the axis of rotation, which is just about this piece here, if I retract it up, you can see in the new gear, the end of the nose gear bay, is just a bit more than the actual nose gear. Whereas if say I load up 
an older version of the gear if I just get rid of the gear doors and that if I get it by the axe to rotation and nudge it up well, rotate it up you can see there's all this excess space in front of the nose gear as well as this older gear bay not being perfectly straight both in the height of the ceiling and the width because the width of this gear bay is just some simple 1 to 100 full percentages which you can do using the slider here this is pretty simple and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some details to the nose gear doors so I'm going to make them slightly thinner than the actual width of the gear bay and I'm going to add lots of details in the gear bay and on the nose gear doors to make it more realistic so I'll do that and then I'll show you a little longer than a few minutes later and I've done that or at least tried to I did try to add some details that looked like piece of large ribs or something using my script that I wrote but since the nose gear door is curved I can't just have everything be straight like I did with the main gear doors so I either have to use perfect math to do everything or I have to just skip simple planes entirely and 3D model it myself externally I did try to use math however even though my numbers were correct the fuselage did not look right and I'll probably show some pictures of that on screen so instead I decided that I was going to just make the exterior only in simple planes and then export this and then 3D model everything somewhere else. So what I have, at least in some planes, is just the nose gear doors themselves, and then just some hinge points where they would attach to the fuselage itself. So all I've really done is just make the basic nose gear doors themselves, like just the actual, I guess, skin or something. They do work, so if I open them in game, you can see they work. And this rotation is fine tuned to be how it's going to be in the final version. So, with this, what I'm now going to do is I will 3D model all the details to those gear doors. And I'll probably also do all, the, all those the details, not any like functional, just all the details for the nose gear bay and nose gear doors themselves off camera. Then I'll show you that. And then I'll work on the attraction system. And we now have some details. Pretty simple really. Well I guess the details aren't that simple but it's pretty straightforward. I have some random hydraulic lines or wiring that goes through the gear bay. I have a bunch of ribs and spars. I guess that, I think that's the correct term for when they're not in the wing. But just, just a bunch of structural details. And then I have some hydraulic lines that actually appear to go to the pistons. So I have four lines per side, two per each piston appropriate details and supports to guide them into the right area. Now in real life they would actually just be attached directly onto the bit where my cursor is here, go like this. However, I can't really make that flex in game, so I have it go to some like imaginary swivel ring or something I'm not sure what the right term is, but I have it go to some um, overcomplicated device they make the village makes it easier for me to model. So they go in here, and then they will go through something in here, 
and then this one comes out and then goes to the other end of the piston. So still pretty detailed while being easier to model, or I guess really animate. Then I have a bunch of nuts that hold the piston hinges and the pistons themselves onto the rest of the plane. And if I close the doors, you can see how it, how it actually moves. This nut in the middle is part of the piston model. And then the other ones are just static, they're just attached to the gear bay model. There is a bit of wobble. I have done a lot of work to try to eliminate that. It was actually a lot worse before, but that's, this is the best I can do. I could also make the doors retract slower, but that will be too long for the retraction sequence. But it's only really apparent if you like, keep trying to extend and, or open and close the doors quickly, but in a normal sequence, you'd start off with it being still, then you open it, and it's, I guess it is noticeable, but it's not too bad, and I did try to make it as minimal as possible. Other than that, the other details are, again, just pretty simple, or well, I guess really straightforward. I guess not really simple when it comes to simple planes. I just have a bunch of struts, or not, not struts, I have a bunch of spires, or just a bunch of structural details, then a bunch of nuts, or screws, really. And that is it for the gear bay details. Now the next thing I'm going to do is actually work on the retraction sequence itself. The next stage where I'll show you what I've, got, what I've done is I'll actually I'll do a bunch of 3D modeling. And actually this is 3D modeling. I didn't, I didn't really build this in game. I'll just show you. That's not apparent. This is not built in game. This is actually entirely imported. So this is the gear bay as is shown in the program I used to make it, SketchUp. This is not from Simple Planes, I made this entirely outside of the game. And the reason, which I'm pretty sure I explained, is because the geometry of the nose gear, the nose gear bay, is just too complicated to make in game with the level of detail I want to achieve. Uh, I was able to make the gear doors, at least somewhat flush, with the hinge points, but anything more I try to do, I, uh, in a way I kind of could do it. But it's too complicated, and it's just really difficult to make the kind of geometry that I want to make. Especially with all of this tubing that you can see, I've, I've curved perfectly. You could do that in simple planes, but it w it'll be just with a bunch of fuselages rotated. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, I'll now work on the nose gear leg itself, and all the details associated with that. And then I might actually also start the first part of the retraction sequence, not retraction sequence, but the mechanism. So I'll just have the nose gear leg with all its details, and then I'll have the main strut that supports the nose gear leg and as part of the retraction sequence. So I'll do that, and then I'll show you. And that has been done. I also kind of went ahead and finished all of the models. All of them. So I'll just show you the retraction sequence to get a good view. It's not coded yet, which is what I'm going to do next, but I have the doors on activation groups, and I can use trim to attract the gear. So I open the main doors. I think this is a good enough view. Then I use trim to attract the gear. Then the door is shut. And then for opening, doors open, trim down, and then main door shut just about there. Then it's Extended. So I'll just have a close look at those details. So I have one piston which would move the lock link, as you can see. Then the lock link obviously bends. Then I have a suitable level of details. Just a couple of bolts and things, not too complicated. And then for the nose gear leg itself, this I actually have some electric motors which would be controlling the nose gear steering, which I've modeled. And I have two for redundancy, and you can see the cables there, complete with cable holders, because yes. Then, this is modeled off the 787 Dreamliner, not 100%, but I'd say it's somewhat realistic. And I have two nose gear landing lights. Now, there would actually be four in the top, but because of my uh, lock link design, I guess it didn't work out for visibility, so I just put two. One down below, which is on the steering section, and then one above on the upper leg. 
And I also have a what's called a Tor Clink here. And what this does, I think its purpose is something like uh, spring dampening or something like that, as well as probably carrying some cables over in your life. So it functions as you would expect. And you can see that nose gear steering here. And of course, this may look like it's like a thousand parts or something, but it's actually like, I think, I don't know, something like a hundred or less actually. These are all the the static bodies that are modeled. There are a couple of other parts like springs and rotators, but it's a lot less parts than you might think. Yeah, there's just the whole nose gear bay by itself, as I've just shown previously. And for the, gear, the nose gear doors, I've modded the simple planes built fuselages as well. So that's just one part. Then I have just one part for the other part of the modeled gear door, which also includes this black outline, which adds a bit more detail. And also for the nose gear wheels, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this, but I recently modeled, or not modeled, but modded a 3D model of an export of a different gear and that way I can have the performance tires which have the nice grooves in them with the landing gear rim and this part also includes an input controller to control its rotation which works off the variable output OPM of each wheel also done that on the, not this file, but also done that on the main gear you can see here just make it a little more detailed with the tires because those are the few things I actually can't mod because they're part of the, the physics part of things and I have no clue how to do anything with scripts in them really so that is about it that I have to show for the details so now what I'll do is I will code the attraction sequence and I'll just show you what that will look like roughly so this will be open so for attraction this door opens, gear starts retracting. Then when it's retracted, door is shut. For extension, doors open, gear comes down. Then as it gets about to be fully extended, then the door is shut. And it'll be something like that. So I'll go ahead and code that and then I'll show you the result. And with that, the coding is complete. Let me just take off and I'll show you. And quick keys for an upcoming video, I've also started making the liveries for this plane. This is the Snake Air livery. It is 100% 3D modeled outside of similar planes and different software. And I'd say it looks pretty good. Everything is flush with the fuselage and things like the rudder. They have their own individual part. So we just take off. We can see the attraction system in action. And once again from inside, this is the extension. I'll show you that there's pistons again. There we go. That is the finally finished nose gear and main gear remake. Now there is one more thing leading to the landing gear that I want to do and that is to code in gravity extension with an automatic, uh, automatic with a override switch in the cockpit. However, I do want to finish this video soon as I'm publishing it in hopefully a day. So that will be it for this video. In the next video I'll explain a bit more about this livery and some of the other things that have cha changed. And I'll also look at the cockpit and adding that gravity extension feature but it will be it for this video hope you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye